Barry and welcome to our coverage of the 1998 Canberra Cup. This competition attracts some of the world's best juniors and this year is no exception. We have competitors from nine countries here at the AIS Arena today. As always, Liz Chekovic joins me in commentary today and this, this is the third year we've been covering this event and it really is the breeding ground for tomorrow's champions, isn't it? Yes, it certainly is. It's a very popular event for the international countries to come to. It's low key but there's always plenty of competition here. Well, this is the apparatus finals. There are 10 gold medals on offer today with the top eight on each apparatus through to the final and the Australians very well represented. Yes, we've got six girls, including Katerina Fakhetic and Melinda Cleland who are represented in the finals and also four men, including Philippe Rizzo and Adrian Looney. So we should do very well. But also, as we mentioned before, there is a very strong international field here and the Aussies are really going to have their work cut out for them, aren't they? Yes, the Chinese send a strong contingent every year and it's quite amazing they've got a full contingent at the Asian Games and they've still sent four strong competitors here who are pushing us very hard. There's USA, some particularly good men from France and an amazingly springy girl from Brazil. You've just got to watch her to believe it. Yes, it's certainly going to be a terrific competition. As I said, this is the apparatus finals. But first, let's have a look at the highlights from the all-around competition position and now this is Diane dos Santos from Brazil we talked about her earlier and this is just an amazing routine yes she's got legs that have got inbuilt pogo sticks I think she's uh, a little bit rough around the edges in terms of her presentation and choreography but this is her last tumbling line a double part she just about kicks out of it yeah, just extraordinary. Diane Dos Santos, she scores a 9.616. She qualifies first. She is going to be really tough to beat in the finals. And now from Australia, Pauline Chanecki. Yes, this is uh, not Pauline's first featuring at the uh, Canberra Cup. Uh, she was in the team last year. Very elegant beam worker and quite good on all four apparatus. She's a reasonably tall girl, but she handles it well. And uh, she really, I, I think Bean's probably her best apparatus, finishing here with a double tuck. And a great score, a 9.54 Chaneki, and she is in the hunt for five. Now to the bars, and from China, Peng Sha. Magnificent combination work here, a lot of eagle grip. That's an eagle grip giant through to Markalov. A uh, little connection to the low bar, perhaps could have gone to handstand, that's the main criticism of the routine, perhaps. Some more combination work, pirouette to eagle grip, full pirouette back to eagle grip, half pirouette out, and immediate pulling back out to a stuck landing. Stunning routine from Peng Shara, 9.5, it earns her from the judges to qualify first to the floor, and Katarina Fruketic of Australia. Yes, competing double out for the first time, a tiny bit short, but nothing too serious. She'll fix that up probably the next time she competes. And of course, once she's got those tumbling lines down pat, she's going to be a world-class floor worker. Nice double pipe to finish the routine. Fukedic picks up an 8.75 on the floor to the vault and Pauline Chanecki again. This is Pauline's second ball to round off on. Layout, half turn layout front, really nicely done, great body position. Well, Chaneki with a 9.3 qualifies second, and she again is looking good for a medal. This is the young American, Ashley Postel, and she is going to be a real star, just 12 years of age. Yes, yeah, reminds me a lot of the American Betty Aquino, who featured in their 1992 Olympic team. This young girl's got all the goods, a little bit immature in her work, of course, you'd expect that, but a great program, good difficulty level. She uh, wraps a triple twist here. Yes, yeah, she really is an amazing talent. Ashley Postel wins the women's all-around competition with a 37.021 from Peng Sha of China and Melinda Cleland of Australia, a great performance to pick up the bronze medal ahead of Naoko Nakasa of Japan and the two Australians, Katerina Fruketic and Pauline Chanecki. Cup meet. The first women's final is the vault and this is a look at the American Crystal Ushalak. Tiny little competitor. Oh, and very, very tidy little vault to go with that. Round off onto the horse, half turn on, front tuck off. That bolt is named after famous gymnast Oksana Emelianchik. And 
second vault, Cuervo, very, very nicely performed. She's a fierce little competitor, Crystal Ushalak with a 9.219. As we take a look now at Katarina Fraketic of Australia. Fraketic, a great improver on this vault, handspring front piked with a half turnout. She's much more confident now, good position. And competing in Shenko Vault here for the first time in a long time. Ground off on, oh, she's missed her hands. A little bit short on that vault, so it won't score too well. Lucky to stand it up though, Katarina Fruketic with an 8.925. Now the all-around champion, Ashley Postel. Ground off on, Yushchenko style vault, half turn layout front. Commonly known as the Phelps, a little bit crunched on the horse, bit bent arms and close to the horse. Needs more distance. Very hard for the little girls to get enough distance. And a handspring front pipe for the second vault. They actually need a different second vault in apparatus finals. And that certainly sorts them out. That uh, only has a start value of 9.5. Postel still in the nines, a 9.181. And now Diane Dos Santos, the top qualifier in the vault. Powerful run. Oh, just magnificent. Although this vault doesn't have a high start value, she certainly performs it well. Opens out, stretches the body before the landing and actually still manages to have too much rotation. Let's see what she's doing here for the second vault. Sukahara, full twist. Just amazingly quick through the air. Body position not brilliant. Perhaps could have a straighter body line, but gee, she's dynamic. Well, she's done well. A 9.369 moves her into the lead at the moment. Brooke O'Brien for Australia. Brooke is a quite accomplished little vaulter. And handspring front pike. Actually, that's the first time she's competed this particular vault. So she's done well. Sometimes the first time they compete something a little bit out in the orientation, but she gets good distance and a reasonably good height from the horse. Sukahara, one and a half in tuck position. She certainly knows where she is in the air. Main criticism, just really a little bit messy legs throughout, but the dynamics of the vault, quite good. Well, she says vault's her favourite piece of apparatus, and that's why, a 9.206, and that could be enough for a medal. Wei Jingjing of China. And also a very nice little Cuervo. The Cuervo is actually a handspring on, Half turn off the horse, back salto out. The timing of the salto is important. And the Sukahara, oh, I wouldn't call that necessarily a layout. Uh, she's probably named it as a layout, but it's quite a messy body position. A little bit of twist in the post flight, so that won't score particularly well. And Wei Jing Jing picks up an 8.981. But it's Diane Dos Santos of Brazil who wins the women's vault 9.369 from Crystal Ushalak of America and Brooke O'Brien, the Australian, picking up the minor medal with a 9.206 ahead of Ashley Postel. So, success for Brazil and her teammate singing the national anthem. Yes, yeah, some, uh, some problems with the uh, tape machine, unfortunately, at the very wrong time. So uh, here we have Gustavo Lobo, multi-talented, not only a great gymnast, but not afraid to get up there and give it a go as well. Definitely a lot of confidence. You're watching the 1998 Canberra Cup as the women move to the uneven bars and the first competitor from Germany, Dagmar Ferenstahl. This is the first time we've seen the German team here in some time. 
and uprise full pirouette to cut your combination one and a half pirouette to reverse grip immediate Jaeger so two difficult combinations on the high bar there plenty in this routine and big swing for the dismount full in double layout the crowd in Canberra enjoying that performance and here we can see it picking up plenty of speed gets the full twist in early and Fern Charles setting the standard with a 9.275 from China Wei Jing Jing Small twist as she pops off the low bar there. Free hip half through to eagle grip. You can see the different grip there. Full pirouette to eagle grip. Pike Jaeger, so. Good combinations. A little pack salto to take her down to the low bar. They have to change bars twice in a routine. Part of the special requirements. Chinese using the eagle grip to good advantage. Dumping with this mount just ever so slightly, just looks a bit heavy in the second salto. And small errors, the judges are looking for the handstands right in the vertical, the pirouettes coming on top, but just missing a little bit of rotation at the end. And the score for Wei Jing Jing, a 9.025. From Australia now, our first look at Jackie Dunn, 14-year-old, originally from South Australia, now training at the AIS. And Jackie is a really big improver on this apparatus. It would be one of her strongest. Reverse grip, full pirouette, through to eagle grip, half pirouette out. Plenty of pirouette work, tidy little Jaeger. and floats the pack salto to the low bar and she has good variety in her composition judges looking for that another pirouette and an Arabian double front you don't see that very often it's a back entry dismount we'll see that ho hopefully in a moment but here we go the eagle group half pirouette out Another half pirouette into uh, Jaeger Salto, Straddle Jaeger. And done with a 9.025, equal with the Chinese we've just seen, Wei Jing Jing. But now Peng Sha of China, the top qualifier and a classy performer here on the bars. Yes, yeah, she's just a little bit crisper than some of the others that I've seen in training. There's that Markolov connection. Nice and sharp in her work. Good handstand lines, looking for alignment of the body. Excellent routine. Well, she loves the bars. She's always a very clean performer. And that's that Markalov. It's like a front bolt over the bar with a half turn, legs straddling. A little soul circle connection to take her to the high bar. All pirouettes needing to be completed within a certain degree so that they don't attract deductions. Well, a 9.575 for Peng Sha. She's the woman to beat as Melinda Cleland of Australia steps up, third in the all-around. Cleland is a very strong bar swinger. It's upraised to half pirouette. Front giant full. Healy, Pike Jaeger, what a great combination. Picking up a lot of connection bonuses for that particular section of the routine. Front giant half, and picking up some speed now for the dismount. 
and uh, full twisting double salto to finish. Doesn't quite stick the landing, so giving away at least a tenth there. There's the front giant full heely turn. That's two D elements in succession and straight into the Pike Jaeger, another D element, so picking up a lot of bonus. Melinda Cleland happy, and she should be, a 9.387. Ashley Postel now of America, qualified second behind Peng Sha for the final. Fairly simple mount to get her to the high bar. Stalled circle, half pirouette into eagle grip. Another eagle grip giant with a half pirouette, and Kachev. So the gymnasts working the code of points well. Oh, it looks like she might have made a little error there. So she'll suffer a little bit compositionally. Another eagle grip into double front. She's the US junior national champion on this piece of apparatus. Here's that combination, Kachev, a small relaxation of the knees. Perhaps uh, when she's more mature, she'll be able to control her leg form just a little bit more. 9.9 start value. And Postel scores from the judges a 9.3. So, Peng Sha of China wins the uneven bars with a 9.575 ahead of Melinda Cleland of Australia picking up the silver. That's her second medal of this Canberra Cup. Ashley Postel in third, Ferenc Chab fourth, and Wei Jing Jing in fifth position. But a very happy Melinda Cleland with her silver medal adding to the bronze in the all around. The men are now on the vault. Dai Teng Fei of China. Oh, beautiful vault, handspring front, one and a half twist forwards. Showing nice phases, gets good repair. Welcome back to the 1998 Canberra Cup. The women move to the beam final and the first competitor, Jennifer Chawon of Canada. Opening with a front salto through to a jump combination. We'll see a lot of combinations on beam, like you've seen there, a little cat leap, change leg, side leap, and Shushanova. Gymnasts trying to build their bonus points. The series, of course, each gymnast is required to have a series on beam, an acrobatic series. The shell by opening with a lot of combination work. Will jump half or oh, wobble there. So she'll miss out on any bonus points that she may have had for those connections. Very nicely performed straddle jump half turn. Work on beam here is quite competent, um, lacking maturity perhaps or presentation in the choreography area. And a double twist to finish. So she'll lose a tenth on the dismount. They are required to have a D dismount and that's just a C value. And the score for Charbois a 9.15. So we take a look at Pauline Chanecki for Australia. Qualified in second position, so a real chance here. Opening smoothly, also with a front salto, wolf jump combination. And that, bon that uh, combination there picks up a two-tenth bonus. Concentrating for a long time here. Flick. Anodi, all beautifully done. That's such a hard combination. And so far, very, very little to deduct from. Just 
think about all the difficult elements on beam will be connected with something so that the uh, gymnast can build up the bonus points. And there's a three-quarter straddle jump to prone support. Perhaps could have done with a little bit more split in the straddle. A beautiful beam routine here. Just needs to control the dismount. Round off, double tuck, oh, that's unfortunate. That is such a shame because it was a beautiful beam routine right until the very end there. She's such an elegant worker on the beam. She is, but watch this series, flick, half turn, front walk over, that's called an anode, and it's so hard to time that to get it correctly. And there's that three-quarter turning shushin over. And the score for Chenecki, a 9.2. Peng Sha of China now just having won the gold on the bars. The top qualifier again for beam. It's a very popular mount, the front salto. We're not seeing so many back mounts these days on beam. It's much easier to control the front mounts. Oh, that's lovely. One thing you always notice with the gymnasts from China on beam is their rhythm. Front handspring, Corbett flick combination, a nice little back to front connection. Front salto, hecht jump, scissor jump. A little bit of too much of a pause between the front salto and heck jump, jump but uh, it'll be up to a judgment whether they give the connection or not. And let's see if she can control the dismount because that seems to be the place which is going to affect this result. Very nice double tuck. Another beautiful routine. She just looks so confident on this piece of apparatus. Rock solid all the way through. Yeah, she's got good amplitude in all her leaps and jumps. As I said, the choreography, very nice. And here's this, I think this is the front salto. Just a little bit too much pause, but I think she'll get away with it. Well, she's very happy with that, and she should be a 9.675. It's going to be tough to beat, but if anyone can, it's this girl, Tam Lee of Western Australia. And Tam mounting superbly with a round-off Corbett full twist. Very, very rarely seen. Series flip layout, just a tiny, tiny loss of control. Nothing too much, however. Tam, also a very stylish worker on this apparatus. A straddle jump half turn. I think Beam would have to now be the Australian girl's strongest apparatus. Wolf jump. Corbett full twist once again very, very nicely controlled. Changement. Wolf jump three quarters. Dismount from her cartwheel. Game of Salto with a double twist. It was a beautiful routine. Will it be enough? We'll wait for judges' scores. 
Obviously pleased with her performance. And watch this mount round off, full twist before she even hits the beam. And uh, that can be quite a punishing mount if you're off direction. Nice little straddle jump, half turn. And once again, using that full twisting corbett very well. And here's that little bit of a different dismount, tiny bit short on the twist. I think that'd be her major deduction in that routine. So a 9.5 for Tam Lee. It's good, but it's not quite good enough to topple the Chinese. Peng Sha wins her second gold of the night with a 9.675. But it's a great result for Australia. Tam Lee in silver and Pauline Chaneki, the other Australian, picking up the bronze medal ahead of Chambois of Canada. So China first, but Australia two and three. piece of apparatus, Crystal Yushalak, the first to go on the floor. And starting with a double pike. Crystal's only 12 years of age. She started training at two, though, and it's hardly surprising she's as good as she is. Her grandmother, her mother, and her aunts all coach. So certainly the talent runs in the family. And here's Crystal actually uh, trains at the Parkettes Gymnastics Centre in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and they've produced many champions, and their coach, Donna Strauss, said they consider this girl to be the most talented they have ever had in their program in the last 20 years so we see big things from her i'm sure she's a sprightly little performer full of personality and we can see coach jack carter in the background enjoying his uh, gymnast performance and that's a great thing to see triple twist to finish well, a brilliant routine from the tiny pocket rocket, Crystal Yushalak of the USA. Congratulated by her teammate. Uh, the coach is certainly enjoying that performance. The USA has brought three coaches out for two gymnasts. Certainly no shortage of staff here. And that's two and a half twist punch front, a difficult combination for a young girl, quite complex. And the floor choreographed well for her. And that's the same tumbling line, just from a little bit of a different angle. And actually you see the coach looking a little bit anxious in the background there. And about a one-eighth short on the twist, so she'll get the value of the twist with a small deduction. Now well, it was a great start, a 9.512, but she knows that she had to do a great routine because the Brazilian is still to come. But first up for Australia, Danielle Kelly. Danielle is also 12, and this is her... First time she's competed in an all-round competition and apparatus finals for Australia. Extremely talented girl and there's a nice whip through to a double pike. Well, we know that Danielle's in great form at the moment. She actually won the selection trial to come to this Canberra Cup. Danielle is also a talented all-round 
gymnast. We're going to see a lot of her in the future. Beautiful floor work here. Two and a half twist punch front. It looks like she may have gone outside the floor area itself. she chooses for her last line and triple twist that's the first time she's uh, competed that triple twist and at the end of the floor routine it's a very very hard job it's a great effort from the young Queenslander we'll certainly be hearing a lot more from her in the years to come just 12 years of age as we mentioned yes it's interesting to see herself and the two young Americans competing against each other at this time, I'm sure they'll see each other a lot on the international circuit in the years to come. Let's have a look here. This is the two and a half twist, good body position, punch front, just a little bit too much distance on it. And this is the triple twist in the last line. Watch the foot position as she lands. A little bit short, in fact, she may only be credited with two and a half for that, but she tried for the triple. Well, she should be pleased with that. A 9.3 for Danielle Kelly of Australia. The second American now, Ashley Postel. With two and a half punch front, what a good combination. Short on the double pike, so no bonus points for that D element. Selection of music involving the crowd. Forwards, immediate front salto. Fourth tumbling line coming up. Triple twist, and that's as clean as a whistle. That's certainly the best triple we've seen. So far in this floor final, the crowd certainly enjoying that performance. One thing about the Americans, they really know how to sell their routine to the judges and the crowd. They're great performers. They do. She's actually coached by uh, an ex-Russian coach, Tatiana Pershkaya, who coached the famous Oksana Emelianchik to a world championship all-around medal. So she's certainly in good hands. A little bit bent knees on that front full. Change leg leap, full split, straddle jump full, Shushanova. Well performed jump combination. Of course, the judges are looking particularly at the foot placement on all the connections. And you can see she finishes square on the triple twist and she'll get full value for that triple. Well, her teammate is the woman to beat at the moment, but Postel with a 9.387 just sneaks ahead of the Australian Danielle Kelly but this is the routine we've been waiting for Diane dos Santos of Brazil been watching this in training watch this incredible first line double array <laughs> Salto she's actually got too much rotation she is a truly amazing tumbler and just whips a little double layout in for her second line as if it's uh, nothing to her at all you can see the elevation in the leaps and jumps. In fact, probably her main difficulty is in controlling this amazing power that she's got. A 
if she is able to get the choreography level up at the same level of her tumbling, she could be a true contender for a medal at either World Championships or Olympic Games. Front salto, two and a half twist. by her coach she's actually the second ranked girl in Brazil fourth tumbling line coming in very high double pike well she's not quite as polished as some of the others but that tumbling is just outstanding and the crowd's really appreciated the level of uh, work that she has shown. Coach obviously thrilled with her performance. And That's the men's the coach as well. <laughs> they show great team spirit, these Brazilians. They really are the life of the, the party at the Canberra Cup. That's for sure. This is the third tumbling line and it looks just so good she could have added another salto after the two and a half twist very easily but even the elevation from the leaps and jumps look how high the legs go in this straddle jump fall right up at shoulder height just the small things like the connecting position with the feet in between the jumps is, is what the judges will be uh, taking small amounts of uh, points away from her for well, 9.512 is the score to beat from Crystal Ushla. And there's the whip two and a half, or the front salto connected to the two and a half twist, as we've seen. And there's the score. It's enough. A 9.6 for Diane Dos Santos. And she takes her second gold of the night. 9.6 from Crystal Uschlack of America. 9.512. And the second American, Ashley Postel, takes the bronze with a 9.387. The two Australians so close to the medals, but not quite. But this is the girl of the moment. Diane Dos Santos from Brazil. Well girls, four medals tonight between you two silver and two bronze, it's a terrific haul. First of all we'll start with you Brooke on vault tonight, you uh, got the bronze medal on vault and you competed in new vault tonight. Um, yeah, it's the first time I've competed in vault finals in an international competition and so I had to compete my um, handspring front pike as my second vault and considering it was the first time I think it went pretty well, I'm happy. Melinda, on bars tonight, you went in with a bit of a sore back. How did that affect your performance? Um, well, it was pretty sore from the day before my vault landing in the all-round, but um, thanks to the medical staff, um, I just had to push through it and I ended up with a silver medal, so I was pretty happy. I'm sure you're pleased that you actually did your routine tonight. Yeah, well, I, was, I don't think that the medical staff really wanted me to be on the bar, but I just said to them that I really wanted to do it. Yeah. And Pauline, a fantastic beam routine, uh, came unstuck a little bit on the dismount. Yeah, I was really anxious to do a good dismount and my whole routine was really good. And I think I just was too anxious and pulled it around a bit too short. So, Bit of experience for you? Yeah, definitely. Tam, you ended up with the silver on beam tonight in your first ever apparatus final. Yeah, I was a little bit nervous, but thanks to my coach, Joanne Richards, she got me well prepared for this event, and I did a really good routine. And um, i also like to thank the coaches and gymnasts back at the WA Institute of Sport for their support and help, too. OK, well done, girls, tonight. We look forward to some great performances in 1999. Thank you. Thank you. I'd just like to say thank you very much to the coaches um, and to my current coach, Sergei Shinka. Um, we wouldn't have been able to perform how we have today uh, if it wasn't for them and um, yes yeah, so I thank you on behalf of all the gymnasts and thank you to the audience for your wonderful support uh, this weekend thank you um, 
on behalf of all the gymnasts, I'd just like to say thank you to the judges, as this competition wouldn't be, have been possible. Um, and yeah, thank you. And thank you, Adrian and Melina. Thank you very much. All that remains is to thank the hard-working organising committee from the ACT Gymnastics Association, all our sponsors, particularly the Australian Sports Commission, for making this wonderful facility available for us and for all the other assistance we get, and to you for being such an excellent audience on such a, a, a hot and trying night. And that wraps up our coverage of the 1998 Canberra Cup. We hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Anne-Marie Carey. Until next time, bye for now.